my name is Idalise Baez and I'm a sales engineer at Progress Software. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and configure your DataDirect MongoDB ODBC connectivity solution that will connect you to the MongoDB database that I previously helped you configure in my part one video. On the center of my screen, I'm at the Progress website. That is www.progress.com. And to get to the Data Direct MongoDB connectivity solution, I am going to click on Products and Solutions and Data Direct Connectors. From here, I can see a listing of all of the current Data Direct connectivity solutions from Big Data to Relational to SaaS and Cloud. I'm clicking on the MongoDB hyperlink. I can now choose between ODBC or JDBC. I'm selecting ODBC. And then I will select Try Now. This will take me to a short form that I'm going to fill out to start my evaluation. After I accept the terms of the EULA and hit Submit, I am taken to the download instructions for the MongoDB ODBC driver. From here, I can select my operating system. I will also want to choose the appropriate architecture type that will match the application I'm using. So if I'm going to use a 32-bit application, I will install the 32-bit ODBC MongoDB driver. If I'm using a 64-bit application, I'm going to download the 64-bit driver. Since I am on Windows and will be using a 32-bit application, I will click on that hyperlink. Once the download is complete, I can extract the contents to a temporary folder. I can then run the setup as an administrator. I will click yes to run the installer. I will click next, accept the terms of the license agreement, and then choose the location of where I want to install my ODBC MongoDB driver. I will click Next, and I have selected Evaluation Installation. I can then select the drivers that I'm going to install and click Next. I am not going to create default data sources, but if I wanted to, I could check this box here. I can now click Install. Once the installation is complete, I can click Done. I can now open up my ODBC data source administrator. I can click System DSN, Add, and I can find the DataDirect 8.0 MongoDB driver. I can click Next and type in a name for my data source. I'm going to call it Mongo2. I can then enter the host name of the MongoDB instance that I had previously set up, which is IE10Win8. I can do a simple show DBs in my MongoDB window to show you that I have both the local and test databases and that the MongoDB instance is running. The port number is 27017 and I want to connect to the database test. Now, the location of the schema definition path is auto-completed for you, but if you want to change where that is placed, you can hit Browse and specify the schema location and name. I'm going to name mine Schema1. I will click Test Connect, and this is telling me that the schema definition has never been used, so it is going to sample the database and create a schema definition. I will click OK. I will enter the username and password, and the connection is established. Now if I wanted to go in and use the schema tool and take a look at how the ODBC driver has configured those unstructured JSON files, I can click schema tool, and I can see both the local and test databases. I can double click on the test database, and I can see the files that I have imported into my MongoDB database. And I can see that the survey file, which was a CSV file, has been imported into 
one table with a single structure. I can then see that the Star Wars JSON file had various levels of nesting. And each of these levels have been separated out into different tables, such as the species results hair colors or people table. And this has all been auto-generated for me. I can click apply and click OK. I now have a MongoDB ODBC data source that can be utilized for my favorite BI tools, such as Tableau or MicroStrategy. Once again, this is Elise Bias. Thank you for watching.